Yeah, I mean, we've been longtime supporters of Dr. Science. It's been one of our favorite names you know, over the last few years. But let's just call it like it is. I mean, this quarter was a debacle. And I think the communication on the conference call left investors scratching their heads. And I think this is one where, you know, growth could continue to decel. This is a stock that could continue to re-rate lower. And you just came off that conference call feeling like there's really no strategic direction. for are coming basically overnight conditions changed. So, Dan, to, to what extent was your downgrade or today's share price pullback in, in your eyes based on changing estimates for future revenues and earnings versus multiple compression as, as the sort of confidence in the story, uh, the outlook for, for top line growth clearly collapsed as well. But uh, I ask because one wonders to what extent that could start to be applied across your whole uh, set of stocks that you cover and not just one of them. Well, and that's really what's happened today, because the DocuSign black eye for PEC, now you're starting to see any high multiple name from Zscaler you know, across to CrowdStrike and others sell off because it's where is there a cascade effect? Now, I do think DocuSign is, is more company specific, but just speaks to that sort of work from home trade. And a lot of it is that you don't have confidence in management that they're going to get you out of what could be viewed as sort of a one quarter speed bump. Then you start to have almost a cockroach these. It's never just one miss. You have many more. And that's what I think happens. You combine that with just an overall jittery market plus the DD news in terms of the U.S.-China cold tech war heating up. That's not what investors wanted to see. But DocuSign right here significantly in the penalty box. And I think this is one that's going to take a long time to see a re-rating here.